Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your mid-March general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every Pisces. But if it does resonate with you, please comment below. Uh, I'm going to do the free giveaway again. Um, you comment below. Uh, you may be chosen to get a free reading, free 10-minute reading, okay? And that's going to be um, over the phone. So if you aren't able to do the phone, then, you know, um, Skype, WhatsApp, or whatever. I guess we'll figure it out. But it's over the phone. It's not video recorded. All right. Happy birthday, Pisces, uh, to those whose birthdays have passed and um, to those who are coming up. So. Anyhow, let's get into it. We're going to do one card for the past, for love and romance, the present, All right, and the future. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of fire. So some of you are dealing with, uh, of course, the fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Sometimes this comes up as Gemini. And, uh, you know, let's not get too hung up on the signs. Um... A very dynamic person this person sees what they want they go after it they are um, could be a business owner entrepreneur in some aspect they have mastered their soup they're coming up as the king of fire so that's very good um, what this says is that you know yes they have desire passion it runs uh, hot and heavy with them what they want what they desire they go after but they have um they've learned that everything that is desirable is not always good for them at any particular point in, in their walk in this life so they've mastered this though they are a very you know passionate person uh they have the they have the idea they and they can spark you know with that so that's good so that's who you're dealing with. It's um, going to be male or female, but this is male, okay? Um, past in love. The messenger of fire. Lots of fire here. Uh, or the knight of wands. So, some of you could have been dealing with a person who, maybe this particular man or woman, but that's a man. This could be a, a man or a woman, but this particular person um, they're in and they're out. They, it's whimsical, you know, because the heart the desires of the heart um, they change, right? So this person was in and out. Also, you know, if the desires of the heart aren't right then um you know this person may be going after things that just weren't right for them or people who just weren't right for them if we're talking about love um this is a person um after pleasure after um you know passionate encounters whether you want to put sex on that or not just after you know things that that feel the soul's uh, desire, a uh, fire, you know. Uh, so this person is all over the place because that could be anything at any given time, right? So um, that was in the past. This could be you, Pisces. You're all over the place. Um, maybe even promiscuous. You know, you, you only you can answer that, or the the person you're dealing with. Okay. All right. Presently, we have the six of air. It looks like this could have been Pisces, and um, someone moved away from you. They chose. They made the choice to go into a, a more calm state. They made what they think. Because the air element is about thought. What they think was the best decision for them. And then they also. They thought 
they think that they've made um, small achievements over what seemed burdensome. Maybe your energy or or vice versa, uh, your energy seemed burdensome to deal with such a person who goes after what they want, how they want it, with very little discretion. Uh, so this person may have moved away from you, or you moved away from them, okay? Uh, just because, um, this is love and romance, but this could also be a physical move. Somebody moved, moved home, moved out abruptly, or someone is wanting to move. Okay, so future, nice, messenger of water. It looks like Pisces. Pisces, you could be dealing with a cancer too, possibly a cancer man. If not, you know, it, it doesn't matter about the sign. Um... We have an individual, this may be you Pisces, now. So it's going to go one or two ways. Either Pisces moved away from a person who was in and out. You know, there was instability within a dynamic. They moved away from this person. Now they're ready to offer their cup of love elsewhere. Or, this is... A person moving away from Pisces and now Pisces is uh, wanting to offer their cup to this individual they understand that this has to be based not just in in lust desire the heart's desire but you have to get to a place of uh, shifting what the heart wants um, quote-unquote a heart issue you know the transformation of of your heart, your heart chakra really get into a place, uh, in, in uh, figuring out if it's good for you first, not just trying to do something for somebody else. But um, now it looks like Pisces may be at a place where they they want true love, they want real love. Okay, um, let's do. Two clarifying cards and then we'll go on to career and finance and this other person may be feeling like this about you Pisces like okay um, you know I, I get it now now I, I want to be able to give Pisces what it is that um, they need, which is love. You know, so. Let's see, what do we have? Wow, the four of fire, nice. And the king of earth, nice. So it looks like this person is, if this is you Pisces, you're ready for a long-term commitment. You're setting it yourself up for a long-term commitment. You understand where you came from and where you're trying to get to or vice versa this person has come back around they want to give the relationship they want to establish something solid and stable they want to be the the good husband the good wife this is husband this is all male energy Pisces wants to come back around and be the and and this is reestablishing. So some Pisces wants to do that. Um or Pis or someone that Pisces is dealing with is wanting to come back around and offer this to to you. Uh should you accept? Let's see. Let's get one card. Should Pisces do this? Or should Pisces accept the offer? Okay. Should Pisces extend the offer? Or should Pisces accept the offer? Let's see. Whoa. Ten of fire. Alright. So this says um, an ending has happened. Right? Uh, somebody's carried a burden long enough the burden of 
trying to grow something that just didn't grow so with this car you're either going to lay down the past have that ace of wands again and start over like i said this is about rekindling reestablishing, or you're just going to lay it down all for good so pisces one or two uh you know outcomes here lay it down for good or let the past let the you know bygones be bygones move forward for some of you single pisces lay down that whole in and out type of situation that you have with people because you it looks like you want something stable or someone wants something stable with you uh, possibly let's you know dead that situation and move into a, a better situation okay in regards to love and romance and relationship okay so let's get into career and finance if you want to see what you should do in regards to maybe an offer coming in to you Pisces or wanting to extend an offer always participate in uh, or not always but uh, go ahead and participate in the yes or no uh, reading uh, the five dollar yes or no reading the the link will be below so you can um, get your question answered yes or no question should I do should uh, will they come uh, you know things of those natures no eight part questions okay all right so let's get into it all right career and finance the past the present the future okay bottom of the deck the queen of pentacles so the queens are always focused primarily mostly focused on their element right the pentacle the earth what rules us earthly the tangible the the asset uh, money so Pisces may be focused there making decisions in regard in regarding to you know uh, the the worldly uh, the worldly ways you know money and where do I live what you know um, what will I drive you know things of those natures with college just more so the tangible okay so in the past we have the six of cups Pisces has the fond memories of the past in regards to maybe career and finance it used to be fun it used to feel like you are progressing now you're at a place of choosing to stay where you are or moving forward the choice to you know um, stay I don't want to say stuck but essentially in one place or to to move forward to create options in, in your life and your career and finance the seven of cups what will you do? Will you reduce this back to the Five of Cups? Will you then grieve maybe a, a situation that was more favorable or time that was more favorable in your life in regards to career and finance? Or will you create options moving forward? Uh, okay. Presently, you are the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. So, the your wheel is turning. If you have put out good, good measure, good fortune, good energy... And of course, it's coming back to you. Something has ended here. This is a 10. And now something new uh, will begin. Something destined to happen also. Money may, may come in. Uh, this is the culmination of. Some of you feel like you've gone as far as you can go in career and finance. Definitely career. 
the future is uh, the Two of Cups partnership. This is a mutually beneficial partnership. This is uh, equal playing ground field. Uh, this is um, a successful relationship. This could even be a, success, a successful relationship uh, in, in the realm of uh, merchant or merchandise. You could be um, receiving money because you have a business that does uh, like this is this governs com commerce. I can never say that word. Commerce, right? Um, this is a partnership that is not only love because this is career and finance, but this is like I've gotten with maybe another person or another entity, a business, and I've um, created a partnership here uh, so that I can move forward and um, be the queen of pentacles, a woman or man, after making stable financial uh, decision in regards to their life. It looks like you'll be doing more business um, selling something service or or a physical something physical product because you're thinking about where you are or where you have been and now it's you're at a place of I'm grateful but I'm borderline discontent with where I am what can I do to take it to the next level to create more option to eventually create more um, money commerce Okay, uh, let's see. Two cards to clarify. Some of you may be taking on uh, business uh, ventures, entrepreneurship, whether it's it's huge or it's or it's small. Yep, yep. Okay. So the choice, the decision: Do I stay where I have been? Or do I find new route, new route within my career in finance um, that could potentially either bring me a lot of money, wealth, a new status. This is nice. Or I have a significant amount of money. Now I, I need to know where to put it. Where can I grow it? It may come through some business venture uh, commerce. The selling, the exchange, the buying, and the selling. You see the two of cups. If we're talking about love, it's mutual love. When we're talking about money, this is a mutual beneficial uh, partnership. It's give and take, right? I have product. I give you product. I take your money. It's give and take. You get something, I get something. Okay? Uh, get very stern about where you are in this process start cutting and trimming the fat where you can um, she doesn't rest in illusion she makes things happen she's very clear okay all right so that's this is a really really good Pisces and like once you make the decision um, some of you this is going to come wrapped up in an actual your fortune, your stability, your your new status financially will come w with you um, being with someone else. You get into a relationship, a marriage that um, allows you that opportunity to maybe take it easy, if you will, be a housewife or or um, house husband. I don't know. Um, you know your fortune may come in, re in regards to another person you and another person partnering all right so we've got our angel answers let's see what can our angel answers tell us about love one card for the past one card for the present one for the future one card for the 
past one card for the present one card for the future thank you thank you thank you lord god true messages from you true accurate messages all right hey love and romance from the in the past you had to trust this situation uh and we saw that knight of wands or there was lack of trust because somebody was in and out of your life so now uh well in the past you you had to have some trust with the person okay or a situation presently wait you are waiting waiting for somebody to get it together and come back you might have moved away from them mentally or energetically or vice versa they did this with you but you're either waiting for the opportunity to go back to them or accept an offer from them okay so you get in where you fit in uh future helpful people there might be some people that can help this along or if you feel stuck in the decision making process should you offer your cup of love again or should you accept the cup from someone else there's some people that were surrounding this situation for a number of years or you may even have to go to a therapist uh, counselor psychic tarot card reader uh, shaman whomever whatever and um, get some advice on the situation okay and and that couples with ask ask your angels because um, for some of you of course some of you is going to be a yes some of you is going to be a no you need to leave the situation alone and uh, for some of you it's going to be yes jump right into it okay three angel answer cards for career and finance career and finance for the Piscean person looks really good for you Pisces um, definitely in career and finance career Future. All right, past. We have opportunity. Okay. And um, so in the past, you had some opportunity. afforded to you in which it made you be of that that emotional state of the six of cups you know um fond memories of okay i did a lot to get here but where am i going next so now you're at a place of i need to create opportunities seven of cups for myself i need to create options okay uh presently um we have trust. Wow. Okay. We have trust here. Um, trust that you're making the right decision in regards to your relation. Um, excuse me. In regards to. career and finance trust that you're accepting the right offer that's for somebody um trust that it's time for change near future <laughs> wow romance and like I said, for some of you, we had the two of cups here, your 
financial stability, uh, finance and career is tied into, um, you might be in business with your partner, you might, or you're going to marry into money, you marry someone who has money, a man who has money, um, or a woman who has money, you, uh, it looks like you get it all. There's an opportunity. Just trust that it's working out in the favor. Uh, in the well, it, it's working out in your favor. It's working out in uh, the manner that it's supposed to work out. Trust the process, right? We have a no answer at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, for some of you, if you have the question, the question, the answer is no. Um, if you feel like you have a question about this spread because it resonated with you go ahead and request that yes or no five dollar reading um, it, it definitely opens up a lot for you okay just getting one question answered five dollars one question yes or no not eight part just you know yes sir no question okay so Pisces I hope that you have a really good mid March did I say this was mid March well it's your mid March reading okay so mid March looks very good for you mid March 2019 general reading all of my information is below uh, how you get a reading with me is going to the website so don't you know essentially waste your time by emailing me and saying how do I pay for a reading well you go to the website and you book whatever reading you would like to book if you're having trouble with that always shoot an email uh, or we can chat through the website um, uh, yeah so that's that know that I'm praying for you Pisces pray for me as well take care guys